that, he, that if that's true, where is he? Why didn't mm -hmm. he come down and buy some billboards mm -hmm. and make it known and yeah. get a television show? Where is he? Where yeah, and, and, and one of the responses to that would be, would we have responded positively to him had he done so? Or would, we, would it have trivialized and have undermined uh, the human process of choice whereby we must be persuaded of something not through a frontal attack but through more subtle observations, the very nature of faith. Uh, is it faith if it's just all spelled out for you God uh, appears individually to each person in a room and says, here's who I am, accept it or reject it. That would be f more fair or more just by our appreciation of things, but it, it doesn't have any of the intermediary steps and processes by, by which God speaks through his creation, by which he speaks through people. Uh, another question that I would ask of somebody is, is your reason for asking that question because you think that people don't deserve hell? Now, this is, is, is very significant because I think we have such a, an underestimation of the reality of our sin that we don't understand the true human condition. But I think sometimes we fail to see when Scripture says that all sin comes short of the glory of God and the wages of sin is death gift of God is eternal life, that we assume the default destination really should be heaven, whereas the Bible teaches the default destination because of our sin and alienation from God is actually not heaven, but it's hell. So th there are many complex things that are behind a lot of people's sense of this is unjust. But one way that, that I've worked with people is to say, you know, the bottom line is that God says what he says, and when Jesus went to the cross to pay the price for the sins of all people, 1 John 2, 2 says he died not only for our sins, but also for the sins of the whole world. I think one day people may stand before the Lord and he may stretch out his hands and feet to show the scars and say, do these look like the hands of a God who does not care? Or, what more would you have asked me to do for you than what I did? Well, it would have been nice if you just would have showed up and explained it all. But somehow we have to learn to trust God for things that we maybe haven't figured out ourselves.